In the ever-evolving landscape of military technology, the United States Army is once again on the brink of a groundbreaking development, the Future Attack Reconnaissance Aircraft FARA. In this video, we delve into the intricacies of the FARA project, exploring its historical context, technological innovations, and the contenders vying for this critical role in the Army's aviation modernization. Background and historical perspectives. The need for a new scout helicopter arose in 2017 when the US Army retired its Bell OH-58D Kiowa Warrior, leaving a crucial gap in its aerial reconnaissance capabilities. However, this isn't the first attempt to fill this void. The Army's history is marked by decades of failed endeavors to replace the OH-58D, including the ill-fated RAH-66 Comanche and the ARH-70. Despite these setbacks, the Army remains undeterred, recognizing the strategic importance of a dedicated aerial scout. The future attack reconnaissance aircraft, FARA, as the Army's number one aviation modernization priority, with a mission to penetrate and disintegrate adversaries' integrated air defense systems. Dr. Bruce D. Jette, Assistant Secretary of the Army for Acquisition, Logistics and Technology, emphasizes that FARA will empower combatant commanders with enhanced tactical, operational and strategic capabilities. The aircraft is expected to achieve this through increased speed, extended range, improved endurance, heightened survivability, and enhanced lethality, overcoming historical hurdles. The Army aims for FARA to enter service no later than 2028, setting a relatively ambitious timeline given the historical challenges in developing a new scout helicopter. Past failures such as the cancellation of the RAH-66 Comanche and ARH-70 cast a shadow on the Army's ability to deliver on such ambitious projects. Nevertheless, the urgency of modernization and the evolving threat landscape necessitate a swift and effective resolution. Contenders for aerial supremacy, the FARA project initiated a fly-off between five manufacturers each presenting their unique design concepts. Among them, a VX and L3 Technologies unveiled the compound coaxial helicopter with a side-by-side -side cockpit configuration, while Bell introduced the 360 Invictus, a winged helicopter boasting a streamlined design. Boeing, Kareem, and Sikorsky also entered the competition, each contributing innovative design elements to the quest for the next-generation scout helicopter. Technological marvels. The technological prowess of FARA candidates is nothing short of impressive. From stealth features to specific government-furnished equipment requirements, each design aims to meet the demanding criteria set by the Army. Notable features include a 20mm gun, a prescribed missile launcher, and the GA-1901 improved turbine engine. These elements are strategically chosen to enhance the aircraft's survivability against advanced air defense systems. Technological imperatives. FARA's mandate to penetrate and disintegrate adversaries' air defense systems places stringent technological requirements on the contenders. The incorporation of stealth features, such as reduced radar signatures and advanced avionics, reflects the imperative to operate in contested environments while minimizing vulnerability. A look at historical failures. The Army's previous attempts to replace the OH-58D Kiowa Warrior have been marred by failures, with notable cancellations like the RAH-66, Comanche and ARH-70. These setbacks highlight the challenges in developing a successor to the aging Kiowa Warrior and the pressure on the current FARA project to succeed where past initiatives fell short. Project Timeline Setting a goal for FARA to enter service by 2028 is an ambitious target given the historical complexities of developing new scout helicopters. The compressed timeline 
reflects a sense of urgency in the face of emerging threats and a commitment to staying ahead in aerial capabilities. The Role of Prototypes The selection of Bell's 360 in Victus and Sikorsky's Radar X to build FARA prototypes marks a crucial phase in the project. The prototypes, expected to take flight in November 2022, will undergo rigorous testing to evaluate their performance against the outlined requirements. This phase will be pivotal in determining which contender ultimately fulfills the Army's vision for the next-generation Scout helicopter. Bell's 360 Invictus The Bell 360 Invictus stands out for its streamlined design, drawing on proven technologies from the Bell 525 Relentless. The use of a scaled-down version of the articulated five-blade rotor designed for the Bell 525 contributes to its agility and reduced radar signature. The internal weapons bay and compatibility with air-launched effects, ALE showcase its adaptability for various mission profiles. Sikorsky's Radar X Sikorsky's Radar XA, based on the compound coaxial technology of the S-97 Radar aircraft, emphasizes increased speed, combat radius, and payload capacity. The modular open system avionics and mission systems provide operational flexibility, enabling quick adaptability to evolving mission requirements. The integration of Hellfire missiles and a 20mm main gun position's Radar X as a lethal force in vertical lift dominance. As the future attack reconnaissance aircraft project progresses, the United States Army stands at the threshold of a new era in aerial reconnaissance and attack capabilities. The contenders, with their cutting-edge designs and technological innovations, promise to reshape the dynamics of modern warfare. The 2028 deadline looms, challenging the Army to overcome historical hurdles and deliver a helicopter that not only restores the dedicated aerial scout mission, but propels the US. Thank you for joining us on this exciting journey into the future of aerial warfare. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more cutting edge updates. Stay tuned as we keep you informed on the latest developments in military technology. Until next time, fly high and stay curious.